Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'll be telling you a few of the important rest, rest assured interview questions and answers that have been asked to few of the subscribers as they have been going for the companies for the interviews. So if you are going for automation testing interviews or even if you are uh, doing API testing in Postman, Still, it is very important in these days to learn about rest assured. Rest assured, with the help of adding that dependency in your automation, you can automate APIs as well. So you can do API automation. So what we'll do in this video is I'll be sharing few interview questions and answers. Those have been asked to few of my subscribers when they have been going for real time interviews. So I have also created a digital product on TopMate. So you can see this product on uh, top mate and you can also purchase this product so today it is available at a discounted rate you would get 30 plus interview questions and answers and what i'll try to do is i'll try to add some more questions and answers into this particular product and this is only for experienced candidates this is not for freshers so if you are fresher you won't be getting such kind of deep level of rest assured interview questions right you can get high level what is rest assured uh, how will you add that uh, rest assured in the dependency so those kind of configuration related questions you might get but if you are an experienced person and as you know the job market has opened for the experienced people so many of my subscribers many of the candidates out there have been getting these particular questions and answers so let me show you this uh, digital product as well so what i'll do is I'll show you a few of the questions that are covered. See, for example, you might get these questions. What is the difference between put and patch? So first of all, the definition, the put method replaces the current representation of the target resource with the uploaded content, right? Whereas the patch, it is applying partial modification. So generally when you get build also in testing, uh, we say that uh, we had released and then uh, the customer got defect and now there is a patch available. So patch is nothing but some partial modification for fixing that particular thing you would be doing. That is patch. Usage, patch is used when you need to update only certain fields, right? Then patch, if you are sending multiple updates, right? It does not change the resource in that way. Right. So, for example, in, in case of put, you can give an example updating a user's profile with all the fields. Example name, email address. Here in patch, you can give an example updating only the email of a user. Right. So, just understand these particular terms with respect to the software testing as well. As I was giving you an example of release and patch. So, patch is nothing but few binaries, few DLLs would be changed. Now, apply that same concept here as well correlate that concept here as well and then you would be able to get more understanding right then what is the difference between oauth 1.0 and oauth 2.0 right so first is with respect to complexity level so there are diff various differences so which are the key differences so that we have added from the complexity level from the security perspective from the token types flexibility user experience use cases wise so use cases wise you would see OAuth 1.0 is used in legacy systems and application, right? Whereas OAuth 2.0 might be used in model applications, including web, mobile, server to server communication due to its simplicity and flexibility. So such kind of questions you can expect. And there are few questions where I have written code as well so that you get an idea. OK, this is uh, the, you might be asked to write such kind of code. See, for example, this kind of ex uh, question. Yeah, what are the ways to validate a response in REST Assured? Now, there are various ways how you can validate a response, right? You can validate the status code. You can validate headers. You can validate what is coming in the response body. You can validate what is coming in the cookies. So there are several ways. So one is validating status codes. So you'll write given dot when then get resource and then you will verify the status code you are getting as 200 or not simultaneously here also you'll be validating the headers so you'll validate the presence and the values of http headers and the response so in an interview they might ask you to write some kind of code as well some kind of logic as well over there or else if you are going in the companies for giving practical interviews then you might be asked to write some particular code in their particular machines or systems or you might be asked to take your system and write the code so it is very essential that 
you write a good amount of good lines in the code. You, it should not happen that the code does not execute at that time. It should not happen that the output you're not getting or you're getting some basic kinds of errors at that time. You should be able to run your code properly and very important, very, very important that you should be able to explain your code as well. Because if you will explain your code, then, then only they'll come to know what kind of understanding, what kind of detail level of understanding you have got with respect to that particular code, right? So those things you have to take care. Now, uh, there are a few more questions as well. So 30 plus interview questions and answers you would be able to see here, right? Now, one more question which I would like to discuss, which is again uh, frequently asked, what is the difference between given when and then in rest assured? So what are these given when then? So given is used to specify the request parameters, headers, cookies, body, and other request details. Whereas when is used to define the HTTP method to be used, right? So get, post, put, delete. Then you will use to validate the response. So then is more of a kind of a, you can say expected. What is the expected result you are getting? So you are expecting status code to be 200 here or you're expecting status code to be 204, or you expect status code to be 500 here, what is the body content that you are getting? So all these things you will be mentioning in the form of given, when, then, right? So what is given, what is when, what is then? So those you would be mentioning in the rest assured. Then what is the use of the log method? Right. So when I say log method, so log method is nothing but it is used to log the details of HTTP requests and responses for better visibility and debugging. Right. So there are various ways how you can use the log method. You can use log method for logging all the request details, like including headers, parameters, body and more. Right. So this is how you will write that code. You can all you can also log the. First is you can log the request details. You can also log the response details, what you are getting. You can log the request headers as we saw, right? Then you can log the request body. So it is useful when you are sending complex request bodies. So loggings are very necessary, right? So such kind of loggings you can use. Such kind of logs you can use, right? Then which are the different HTTP methods? Get, head, post, put, post, delete, right? So those kind of questions are also there. Right, so all the questions you will get answers as well. If you are preparing such kind of uh, things for an interview purpose, then it would be very much helpful for you, right? And I'll be what I'll be doing is whenever I'll get some more time, I'll be adding more and more questions and answers, and then you just need to refresh the link, and automatically you would receive the latest uh, question and answers as well. Okay, so it's a humble request to put the positive rating and the testimonial because if you'll see today, I am giving this product at the discounted rate because TopMate has come up with a zero day. So they won't be charging any kind of commission from the content creators. So I am putting this product at a very discounted rate and please utilize this product for your interview questions and meanwhile if you are also giving any interviews so please share those questions with us at rd automation learning at the rate of gmail.com also if you're getting selected in any of the companies or if you would like to share any of the company experience please feel free to write to us at rd automation learning at gmail.com or else you can also share your success stories with us those things would be helpful to the many people out there right so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.